Hello viewers, welcome back to Story I Can PK with the story of three bears. Once upon a time, there lived a little girl whose name was Mina. She lived at the edge of the forest with her family. One morning, while she was picking flowers, Mina wandered into the forest and lost her way. She was very frightened, but then she saw a friendly little cottage in the distance. The friendly little cottage belonged to three bears. One was a great big papa bear, one was a middle sized mama bear, and one was a teeny little baby bear. That morning, the three bears decided to take a walk while their porridge, which tastes like oatmeal, was cooling. It was too hot to eat right as they left through the back door. Mina came in through the front door very quietly. The first thing she saw and smelled was the sweet steamy porridge. I am sure I am hungry. Mina said, I'll just have one bite. First she tried a spoonful from Papa Bear's great big bowl. Oh, she yelled, too hot. Next she tried a spoonful from Mama Bear's medium sized bowl. Too cold, she complained. Finally, Mina tried a spoonful from baby bear's teeny little bowl. Yummy! She cried. This is just right. Mina ate the entire bowl full. After running around the forest all day, Mina's feet were sore. I need to sit down for a while to rest my sore feet. She thought. First, she sat in Papa Bear's great big armchair. Too hard, she screamed. Mina stamped to the next chair. Next, she sat in Mama Bear's medium-sized chair. It was so soft that she sunk in. Too soft, she complained as she pulled herself, herself out of the cushions. Finally, she sat in Baby Bear's tiny little rocking chair. Just right, she laughed, but the chair soon broke. With nowhere to sit, Mina climbed up the stairs to find somewhere to sleep. She was still very tired. First, she tried Papa Bear's great big bed. Too high, she yelled. Then she tried Mama Bear's medium-sized bed. Too low, she screamed. Finally, she tried Baby Bear's tiny little bed. Just right, she sighed. Then, Mina fell asleep and dreamed of flowers and warm cookies. Just then, the three bears returned home from their walk. They saw spoons in their porridge and were very surprised. Who has been eating my porridge? asked Papa Bear. Who has been eating my porridge? asked Mama Bear. Who has been eating my porridge and eaten it all up? cried Baby Bear. Then the three baby bears saw their chairs had been used. Who has been sitting in my chair? Papa Bear howled. Who has been sitting in my chair? wondered Mama's Bear. Who has been sitting in my chair and broken it? The baby bear cried. The three bears ran upstairs to check their bedrooms. Who has been sleeping in my bed? Papa bear roared. Who has been sleeping in my bed? Growled Mama bear. She was a little angry and a little worried. Who has been sleeping in my bed and is still here? Baby bear screamed. He said it so loudly that Nina woke up. She was so frightened that she jumped out of bed, then jumped out of the window and raced through the forest until she heard her mother's voice. Nina was so happy to see her mother that she promised to never wander through the forest again. The next day, though, she realized she did something wrong by trespassing the bear's house and using their stuff without permission. So she, she felt sorry and went back to apologize to them. 
She knocked at the door politely this time, and Mama Bear appeared before her right away. Hello, Nina said, frightened. I am very sorry about yesterday. What I did was wrong. I ran away because I was scared. It's okay, dear. Don't worry. Come inside to meet the rest of the family. Mama Bear told the other two bears about Nina's apology and they were glad to have their company. They became very good friends from then on and Nina kept visiting them so often as she could. So, viewers, I hope you enjoyed today's story. To watch more stories, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you in the next session with a new story. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.